welcome back to Nossip Technology. My name is Shripal and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate you how to remove the DG broker services step by step. Sometime when we are just removing the DG broker services, we just run the single command but that single command will not be able to remove complete services that in the behind of that command is it's uh, some physical files is remaining which is not deleted by this command okay so let's see in this tutorial i just show you how to remove completely dg broker services step by step and before starting the tutorial i will request to you if you are not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel it is completely free so friends let's start to removing the dg mgrl services the dg mgrl services is a dg broker services so let's see how to remove that services so just connect with the DGMGR prompt. DGMGR. This is my SID OCPPR. Right. So right now I'm connected with the DGMGR services. So let me check. Show configuration. That command will show you the about the your primary database instance name or secondary database instance name, right? So here my primary instance name is a OCPPR and secondary instance name is a OCPDR, right? Both are services going good. So I'm going to connect with the SQL prompt using this command. Now I'm connected with the my primary database. Now I'm going to check the database role. Select database role from V dollar database. So this is my primary database role. If you want to check the name of the database, so you can check with that name from my database. So this is my database name is a OCP PR, right? After that, I'm going to show you the about the second destination of the log files. Show parameter log archive test underscore 2 so with the dg mgrl services my log archive desk 2 parameters value is this this value is set by the dg mgrl services automatically if i'm going to remove that dg mgrl service that value is removed automatically from there right so let's see and before that I'm just checking the dust one. So my dust one is this. So I'm going to connect with the standby and check all these configuration also on the standby machine. This is my standby. And first of all, I'm going to check the database name and database role. Right. So my database name is OCP PR and the uh, database role is a physical standby right select instance name from v dollar v dollar instance see my instance name is a ocp dr right and the database name is a ocp pr and the my database role is a physical standby right okay now come on the primary machine and remove the dg broker service so just write a command here oh sorry uh, before that I need to check the dg broker parameter show parameter dg broker that va that parameter value is uh, true because that, that uh, when we are configuring the dg broker services so we have need to uh, set it true because by default is a false so that time i was uh, con set it true okay on both side on primary and standby also you can check it on standby also see that parameter value is true on both side so after that just connect with the dg broker and run a command here remove configuration right just hit enter and the service has been gone right now if you go are going to run here show configuration so it will showing this error aura 16532 data guard broker configuration does not exist 
and the configuration detail cannot be determined by the DG broker, right? So your DG broker service has been removed successfully, but two file is remaining on the physically location. Which one? This one. First this file and second this file. These two files are the configuration file of the DG broker, right? Which is available on physical location. If you want to remove DG broker services completely, so we have need to remove that both file from the physical locations on both sides, primary and standby. But before removing both of these files, we have need to set that parameter value is false. Okay, so folder system set DG broker start is equal to false. Okay, that parameter is set by false. See. Now, this is parameter is false. We have need to do this action also on the standby machine. So, I'm going to run this command also on the standby machine. Okay. So, this, this is my standby machine. First of all, I'm going to check show parameter dg broker. So, this is also true. You can see. I'm going to set it false. So, just do this. Right. And check this parameter value also. It's set by default is a false. So let's see. I'm going to remove these services. Okay. So just I'm going to open the another terminal and uh, run the mv command and just copy and paste the location. Copy. The location is on Oracle Home. See. So, I'm just see this location, and the file name is a dr one OCPPR. MV DR1 OCP PR that file remove in the DR1. I'm just change the extension of this file. So if I'm change the extension of this file, so it will be not a readable format, right? By the DG services. You can remove also, but I'm just going to change the only extension. Okay. Right now is the extension is a dot DAT. So I'm going to give the extension is dot pat, right? And the second file name is on the same location, dr2 ocppr, dr2 ocppr, dr2 ocppr, and just change the extension. If you are going to run the ls l here, so it will not showing here the dat file. One pet file, one pet file is available, which is I change that one and I change that one. These two files also is there. These two dat file is also for the your container database, right? So we don't have need to change this one. We have just changed the current one. Okay. So now just do this thing on the standby machine also, right? So you run the MV command dr1 ocp dr dot dat into dr1 ocp bat and the second one is a 2 2 right so now let's check it out it is available or not so here is no dot dat file available the Except HR, HC, OCPDR, right? Okay, after removing the DG broker services, friend, if you are going to check the desk 2 parameter value, low work desk 2 parameter value, so there is no value to set. After removing the DG broker services, we have need to set the low work desk 2 parameter value manually, 
okay you can see that step how to set the logger address to parameter value in my previous video which is the data guard configuration video okay now dg broker service has been completely removed right so this is a perfect method to remove the dg broker services i hope you enjoyed this video if you got that video very informative so please like and share this video if you're watching this video on the facebook please like this page and if you're watching this video also on youtube so please like and share this video and subscribe the channel thanks for watching see you in the next video till then jai hind vande mataram